Hello, and welcome to Jay's Crochet and Knit Gifts. Um, today is going to be learning about the different kind of hooks and what I have found out during my beginning stages as I'm going through at this time. Um, there are different kinds of crochet hooks out there that you're able to purchase. And I do deeply apologize. I have a, a beautiful animal here. Um, his name is Simba. He is um, a rescue that we rescued from the El Paso Homemade Society and about in February of 2016. He yeah. is a Maine Coon. He is just an, an amazing, beautiful um, cat. He um, keeps me on my toes and he is here today and I apologize. He likes to be in the center of tension. So he is learning with us today. Um, first of all, I have just begun crocheting and it's been about going on my third month and I'm still learning. I'm learning the, the different techniques, the different stitches and um, all I can say is it's it's a beautiful learning process. It's an art and, and you can make your own creation. Um, so don't be hard on yourself. I, I had to have a a new release being in the auto accident in March I haven't been able to to work out or to um, be in the yard and, and exercise so I had to find another way to um, to release my my stress that I've been going through so I picked up the habit of one of my fears of crocheting I always wanted to know and um, so I, I challenged myself so I had, um, my, my grandmother taught me how to knit many years ago, and it's simple knitting, pearls, you know, the moss stitch, um, stockinette stitch, that kind of thing, but in the crocheting, I didn't understand nothing from, um, the hooks to the supplies to the yarn, you know, it was, it was a growing process, and I just... I wish some people would, you know, they have a lot of videos out there that I was able to learn from um, that would teach you different hooks and and where to get them or what bills you can get, you know. In today's society, a lot of us have to be careful how we spend our, our money. So um, I I was very fortunate and very blessed to, to find the, the fantastic deals that I had found. Um, just to let you know, my very first crochet package that I got were these here, if you're able to see them. Um, they're plastic um, crochet hooks. They can come in many different ways. They can come in plastic, metal, um, and wood. I don't have any wood ones. I do have wood knitting needles, but I don't have any um, wood crochet needles. So. Also, to let you know, um, I didn't understand what the P16 meant or the 11.5 11, 11 mm means. Um, and I, it's just a learning thing. So I, I just picked them up because I thought, okay, the bigger they are, like your crayons, the easier it is. Well, believe it or not, the different kinds of hooks are for, you know, the, the different patterns or projects that you're creating and maybe even the yarn that you're using. Um, so take that into consideration when you buy hooks. So this was my my, my first uh, beginner hooks right here and I started with the K up to letter P. The hooks that I used a lot was the N and the M when I was doing my beginning of my projects. And then also you can get um, big hooks big big fat hooks and I also have those in my knitting oops I have them in a different location I thought I had them there um, I have these big plastic um, I think they're Q and S they oh yes S and I don't know what this one is uh, my sight is very very bad it doesn't tell me what it is but this one is an S. I was right. Oh, how exciting. I'm learning. <laughs> so, um, I apologize. That's Simba. 
Um, so that's, you can get also them in big hooks for like real bulky yarn. I will also make a, a video um, on different kinds of yarns and oh, it's just gorgeous. You also can get your metal hook that is very common, very, um, that you see. This is going to be an M13 9.00. So when you see on the yarn um, hook preference, um, let me get an example here. Um, hook preference on, on your yarn here, if, I don't know if you're able to see, it's a four, we'll, we'll go over this much more in the next video for all of you, but on your crochet it shows it's going to be a, a 6.5 millimeter, which is a K-hook. I love my K-hook. So you can look on the, the, the yarn and it, it will specify what hook, and I'm going to be very, very honest with you. Um, I change up my hooks with my yarn. I I guess I'm a, a I I love to try the difference of the thickness and and also changes the size of it. So keep that in mind in the future when you start making projects. The size of the hook can determine how big or how small your project is going to be. So on that, um, I have another plastic lot of little plastic ones. These I, I love. I love, 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 love these. I wish there was a set out there that I'm wanting so, so bad. Um, I don't need them, but I want them. Um, and it's the, the pink set. And um, it, it's very, very expensive. But, you know, I'm beginning and I want to become much more comfortable in my art or my 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 way of doing it so I can invest the money into it. These are going to be your metal hooks but it has the plastic hand or the the rubbery handle. Oh they're so comfortable. Um, I noticed halfway through my Christmas gifts that I've been making um, these when I was using these in the beginning I my hands would hurt. It would cut um, it, it would rub I should say rub on the, the, the metal on the plastic so um, my wonderful husband, Ray, he um, said, go, you know, enjoy. So I went and got me a set, and I'll tell you, it's like night and day. One thing that is different that I noticed, too, that I, I noticed is that, for example, this is an N hook, and this is a N hook. This is much lighter than this hook. Um, it's... Also look at the different angles. This is a very curved angle here, if you're able to see that. This is a slant angle here. So take that in consideration also. Um, sometimes that has more of a round head. This has more of an angle head on it. That's another thing I want you to take consideration. This is a very deep eye in there. This is going to be your letter M, if I remember correctly. Um, this is going to be N, where's my M, O, M, right here, um, this is my M here. So you can tell slightly the difference if you're able to see that. It's, it's, there's a difference in there. So take that into consideration when you are making your projects. Um, these, uh, these are located, um, you can go from your your craft stores out there. Um, you can go to your major um, supermarkets that you have at your location and they'll be in your craft and fabric area. Um, one thing that I had done through this process is that these different stores, um, I don't want to broadcast names because of cop copyrights, um, but the letter M store um, has a lot of fabric and a lot of um, um, yarn. There's coupons. Look for your coupons. You know, 50% off. Um, believe me, that helps tremendously. Um, so you can, you know, buy one at regular and get the other one half off, or you can get a whole set and have it half off. You know, the, the H uh, store, they have their 40%, you know, off coupon weekly. So take those in consideration. Also, um, in this process, with me buying, purchasing the hooks, you know, there's different supplies that you've had to purchase through this, and it was, 
it was a learning thing. So one thing they say tapestry needle. I have um I had bought these little plastic needles here that would sew in the, the ends of your of your projects and when we when I start showing those videos here very very soon. Um it, that is it's something needed, you know. Um, in the beginning, I'm going to be very honest with you. I just took them in with this very small hook, my my G hook, my extra G hook that I got. Um, I, I I would take them in and I would I would bring them into my different um, stitches. So these I have plastic. I really enjoy the plastic because it doesn't really pull the other yarn strings. Um, also, you would you will need to have spacers um, for counts or or um, different areas that you're at, and I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. Um, so a lot of times people don't have the money to invest to to put into this. You know, these are the ones that I bought um, just recently. I love them. Um, you slip them in; they go in very very easily. Um, you put them in the area that you are spotting that you need to know that there's going to be a, you know there's going to be a change in the directions that you're doing so those are very easy sometimes they look like a little um, small safety pin I've used paper clips before I used boppy pins before I've used um, they say use a change of thread sometimes if I'm I, I need to you know I just my leftovers, I keep them in here if I don't know where my little um, savers are spots are at. For example, I'm working on a um, new project here, and I wanted to show you, for example, I had measured from here to here what row I'm on, so I had put a marker. They're called markers, I should say. I apologize. Let's see, I'm learning. Um, here is a marker here, so I know at this row that I'm at on making this ear warmer, that is my four inch there. So I have to take in determination what I'm, you know, where I'm at. I am now um, creating my own patterns, which I'm, I really am enjoying, um, but I'm learning from other good things. Um, I. You know, in the very, very beginning, you're you're going to learn new things and, and new stitches, and, and I don't want you to get discouraged because it's it's a growing process. It's going to be something that you're going to enjoy. Um, I will, like I said, this is my first video. I hope I didn't confuse you or overwhelm you. Um, again, just a normal wrap. I went over the different size of the needles um, or different types of needles and what you can use them and why they're different for different kinds of yarns or your projects. And, um, you know, this is an example here. This was one of my first projects that I made. I, it's a little hand warmer. Um, I want to say I probably used a N on this or even maybe an M on this. And, um, I made a little hand warmer on this. It's very, very comfortable. It was a very trying situation because not knowing where to mark it and feel comfortable. New things scare me. Um, here's another set. Now you can tell there's a difference in here in the, I should say in the growth of growing and, and, and feeling comfortable. Now your scallops are different. Your Your design is different, you know, here. Um, here is another set of um, hand warmers. I just, these are so comfortable. You would put these under um, a, a jacket, like a jean jacket, and these would flare out kind of situation. So you can utilize your hands or use it for writing. You have access to write and your hands are not in fingers. Or use them on for your phone. When you're using your phone, it's much easier. So I have a set of those. Um, so now that I try this little thing I had just created. I had saw this on a, um, uh, a YouTube video from a wonderful lady. 
glamour um, and I tweaked it. I made it a little different. I, I wanted to, to do something different for me and put my my design into it. So mine is very different how I created mine. My stitches are different but oh I love them. So now I am going to this is the first headband. I don't like it. I, I am really upset with it. Um, and that's the thing you're going to you're going to learn is that you're going to be have certain things that you do like, and there's going to be things that you're not happy with. Um, so this is going to be a growing process, and um, I'll go more into that. So I don't mean to stray on, but again, my name is Jana, and um, I welcome you to to Jay's crochets and knit gifts. Um, in my very first video, I, you will you will find out why I named it the way I did. Is Ray and I decided to pick seven children throughout the United States, and um, to to make gifts and write Santa letters. And these children, um, not are all um, immediate family, and we we wanted to to see randomly and find out what good deed they did throughout the year and that no one would know and and how they made a difference in someone's life and so Santa um, he is in the process of making these very beautiful letters for these kids and letting them know that he is he's watching them and he's proud of them of the things that they have done so me overcoming a fear um, facing my frustration through this accident, my limitations on certain things at this moment. Um, we, we were working together and creating a gift for many um, beautiful children and um, sending them out for the holidays. It's, it's rewarding. It's, it's anybody, and I can say this with my heart, anybody can do it. And that's the scary thing is, oh no, I don't know. Seriously, if I can do it, I believe me, <laughs> you can do it. So enjoy yourself. Look for deals. Find what you enjoy. And, and just create. Thank you. And um, enjoy your day. Thank you.